everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paws and Paper. So we're here for day number 14th. Happy 14th of December. I still have a few things left in here. We're getting so close to Christmas. It's getting closer. So what do we got today? Oh, this looks like it could be washi of some sort. Let's see. So if you have not been watching the series, if you're just joining in today, I am unboxing the Cora Korea Crafts um, Advent Calendar. Not everything is Christmas related. Some things have been kind of Christmassy, um, but it's mainly just uh, craft supplies. And um, I've been putting together, though, a Christmas themed journal, trying to make what I'm getting Christmassy. And I'm trying not to rip this because I've been wanting to use, there we go, I've been trying to use the packaging to save stuff. So let's see what we have today. Oh, ooh, that's cool. It's like, it looks like Zodiac. Constellation. Yep, Constellation. Oh, there. Must be her. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see if everything is her and how we can turn this into something Christmas related. This is a huge washi. I don't think I have any of this. How tall is this? Two, four, almost five inches. This is a this is a wide washi. These are kind of hard to use sometimes, I think, because they're so big. But let's see what it looks like. If I can get it started. Maybe. This one's stuck down good. Okay. Oh man. Hardest part is gonna be getting it started. Now I gotta try to think about what we're gonna make today then with this wide washi. We might just have to do something that's maybe just stuck down on the page and it's just pretty to look at. This is this is really stuck, man. Okay. Did I get it started? Oh, it looks like it has. Oh, it looks like it has like the paper in between once you get it going, but I can't get it started. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Okay, finally. Oh no, that's really cool. It's got all kinds of zodiacs on it. Oh, that's kind of fancy. I like the gold. Okay, let's see how we can incorporate this into... Christmas related. We might have to just pick one of these in here. Um, I'm just going to cut it off where I tore it all. So I know where we can start. Okay, so we might have to kind of um, gather out some more of the stars and things, I think. So let me grab a few things and let's make something today. Okay, so I got the journal here, the Christmas journal I've been working on, and I'm thinking let's just kind of use this to decorate the page with, um, and then we'll make like a page layout with it. So I'm kind of thinking let's just kind of get some in here and lay it through here. Now, my page today is the center, so I do have my strings here in the middle, so I can't do one of, I don't want to do one of these numbers through my string. So I think I'm just going to do something like this maybe I kind of feel like that's what I want to do here and we'll get a piece maybe going here and then maybe a piece over here except I don't want okay don't want just okay let's go for this section here Okay, so now I got a couple pieces here. Let's stick these down and see what kind of page layout we can make to look Christmassy. All right, get it started. There we go. Um, grab my glue stick to add just a little bit of extra stickiness here. Okay. So now we're basically just going to do some like collage on here. Oh, sorry. If you hear that in the background, that is renovation going on. Um, 
We are in the midst of renovating and it's a disaster. I highly do not recommend it. <laughs> Everyone is completely over the the mess. Okay, so let's get this one stuck here. And then let's see what we can do about these images that may not be so Christmassy. So I'm just trying to follow my border here on my paper to kind of line those up. Okay, so there, I have my base down. Now, we may not be thinking these images are very Christmassy. So, let's see. I've got a couple um, just uh, printed out page pieces. So maybe we can use some of these um, that I've been fussy cutting out. Maybe like a couple of these images or something we could, if they're tall enough maybe. Oh, that one kind of fits there almost. Is this one kind of tall enough? Could kind of keep that. I mean, you don't really notice that as much. Maybe I have a taller one. I don't know if I have a taller one. Let's see. Kinds of. Oh, we got some of these. What are these? These are a little bit bigger. Oh, that would totally fit on there. But that almost covers up the whole thing then. Kind of don't want it to cover up it completely. Maybe we should just do something like that. That kind of just, you can see the stars and stuff in the background. Okay, I am going to, I think, let's turn these into, let's turn those into a pocket of some sort, right? I think we're going to want, can we do like a, do, you wanna do, do we want to do like a side pocket maybe? And then a side, have a little tag there. And you still have a little bit of room to write here and here. Okay, I'm going to sew these and then I will be back. Okay, so I have my pieces just sewn around there. Um, and let's just make, yeah, I think we're gonna do the three sides here and we'll do like a little side tuck. And yeah, we can tuck in something fun there. So, so yeah, you know, if you get washy and stuff, you don't really like the images or they don't fit your, your uh, theme or anything you're going with, there's always the cover up method. You know, but the stars and everything are really cool. I like that for this. And I like the images. Just, you know, trying to make it Christmassy is a little bit more interesting. Okay, so maybe we could even, like, kind of offset it a little bit there. Because I want to be able to see some of this. So I think I'm going to just move it down like that. And we'll do a tuck here. So we're just going to do these three sides. And then we can tuck some little goodies in there. And this was actually another really simple, quick and easy page layout. Okay, so we got that there. I could even use some more of my uh, the pieces we got yesterday to tuck in, but we need to include 14 in here today. So maybe we should just, I got a couple of these. Oh, there's an ice skate. Maybe I could just line Number 14 on the back. Should I just do that and that way we have 14 on a tag or should it actually be on the page? Oh, that actually almost tucks in there perfect. Does this one fit? Oh yeah, look, you got two little tags there. Those fit in there nicely. There, I kinda like the colors of that better. Okay, so we got our two little cute tags. Maybe let's just I kind of am now just feeling like, let's just rough tear this and just glue this down so that it's just permanently on there rather than being a removable. I think, no, I guess not, oh geez. I guess not all of my numbers are removable, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's just make it into a postage stamp. There we go. And we got our green string too. Okay. So, oh, we could tie our green string um, around our two little tags here. That's what we could do. Could uh, just add a little bow 
and tie that around there. That'll work. Okay, we'll save those for the tags and we'll put those on the two tags. So then we've used everything. Okay, we've got our posted stamp here. Let's get our number. So I hope you guys are getting all ready if you're doing any holiday baking, if that's getting time to get done. We used to do, when we were little, my dad used to love to bake and he would make tons and tons of cookies. You always used to have tons of Christmas cookies. So I think maybe, should we just kind of put it, I kind of just feel like we should just put it up in the corner. Let's go with this one. Okay, and I'm just gonna fully glue this down. There we go, just like that. Okay, so we got our page layout pretty well done. Now let's take care of our two little tags to tuck in there. And then I think our page is pretty cute. I think it turned out pretty good for making that washy Christmassy. So now we just got these two tags here. Um, let's go ahead and ink them up. And get our little green string on there and then we'll be all set. So I was thinking about what to do with this Christmas journal. And I'm thinking maybe just do it as a as a giveaway. Ugh, sorry, I had to go grab my crocodile here. Um, gonna put a little eyelet punch in here. But yeah, I was thinking about just doing this as a giveaway. So. I could just sneak it in there and not tell anybody. So if you've actually been watching the videos, then you'd have your heads up about it was being a, a giveaway. But if anybody wasn't watching the videos, then they wouldn't know. I know, right? Shame, shame. <laughs> just joking. Okay, I need eyelets. Hold on. Okay, so I got my little bitty eyelets here. Let's find ones, maybe. What do we got? We got green ones in here. I think, yeah, we got two green ones. Okay, so let's get these out. So yeah, I did, I actually did exceed 800 subscribers too, finally, which is exciting. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. And uh, so I could combine the giveaway, like, you know, the 800 subscriber giveaway and just the end of the year Christmas giveaway type deal. I think it would be fun. This one's really off center. I didn't punch that very well. He is definitely not in the middle. Oh well, we'll tie some string around it. You won't be able to tell it. Let's disguise it, shall we? Oh, come here. So yeah, we could keep the giveaway a secret. And if you've been watching, then you'd be like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna tell anybody. But your, ch your odds of winning would be really great then too. Okay, should we tie the whole dang thing in there? I think we should. Can we get that through there? Oh yeah, by the way, one of my subscribers was like, you know, cause I was struggling. Oop, just threw a green thread up here with my thing. They were like, do get one of those uh needle threaders, which you know, like the little coin things that look like, um, like little coin, metal coins with a little like wire thing sticking out of them. That's a needle threader. I had no idea what that was, but I'm like, oh, I've seen those. I know what it is. But I tried looking through my stuff and a lot of my stuff is packed away at the moment because of all the crazy renovation stuff. So I wasn't able to find one, but if I do find one, I'll have to let you know because she's like, oh yeah, that's what they're for. That would be perfect, you know, to get that through there. Thank you for that. If I can find it, I will use it. But for now, I can't find anything. Okay, I think that's, yeah, I just wanna do a big bow at the top. Yeah, let's do that, that looks good. So let's do this one quickly and then our day number 14 is all set. So this has been lots of fun. Can't believe the amount of stuff I've gotten to already. There's, it's a, there's a lot of stuff. 25 uh, items worth of crafting supplies is pretty cool, actually. 
I can get this one through. I can't get this one through. Almost. There we go. I think I got it started. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Oh no, I got one. I got one of my strings through. Now I gotta try to get the other one through. Oh man. Struggle, struggle. That little threader thing would have been a great idea right now. Okay, I think I got both of them finally through. Oh, there we go. Phew. Okay. Let's try to get this finished here. Before everybody passes out from boredom. And let's just get a cute little bow going here. Like so. Now I can't even tie a bow. Man, I tell you, my hands and everything are so tired from having to... We've been doing a lot of the demo for our renovation. So demo is easy. I can tear down, but rebuilding is the hard part. So we've been trying to do a lot of the demo ourselves, and my hands are now just like exhausted. I can't, can't hardly function anymore. Okay, so I think I have a bow. Wow, this is... Okay, I'm exhausted. That was all I could handle for today. Whew. Okay, let's get these little cute tags in our book here. Okay, which one did I have? I had this one over here, which was cutie. Now that'll kind of stick out there. And this one here and the fringe will kind of stick out there. Okay, well, there we go. I think that page turned out really good today. So I hope you guys have a happy December 14th. And go get your paws dirty and get crafty. I will see you on the next one. Bye.